Hi, I'm Rory Mole. This is my three-part series of laying out a book in Affinity Publisher. This is the final part in the three-part series. For part one and two, you will find the link in the description below. Let's finish this off now. Right, so now we are here on our, uh, our page. I'm just going to make... Uh, let's have a look here. Hmm. Actually, let's just allocate the master A. Let's, let's apply a master page of A on there so we can see what we're doing. And we'll clear it again just now. All right. We're going to drag out text frame uh, I don't know how many chapters I don't think we're gonna need too many now we're gonna set up a little textile for um, let's have a look we'll set up a textile we'll say uh, this is an entry there we go just do that hit the tab and put a number, say, 21. All right. So this is an entry. All right. So it's Casson Pro 12. It's made it semi-bold, but we don't want that. We want it regular. That's fine. And we are there. We're going to make a little... Uh, a paragraph is all fine. It's uh, aligned left. That's what we want. We don't want 12 points underneath. We want maybe two points. There we go, two points. Textile, new textile, and let's call it uh, table T O C. Do that. T small letter O in C because maybe affinity. Publisher creates a TOC with a with capitals. TOC entry. There we go. All right. Take that out. And we just type in the table of contents. This will be the heading. Want it in the middle of the page. We want 20 Caslon Pro, yeah, Adobe Caslon Pro. Go to paragraph. We want this to be 20 points spacing. There we go. And so we go to our table of contents, new paragraph, and we will say not TOC heading, we're going to say TOC, uh, sorry, not TOC entry, we're going to say TOC heading. There we go. There it is. Okay, so we leave it like that. We are going to say, uh, sorry, table of contents entry, where are you? Uh, there we go, table of contents entry, that'll be right over there. Now we're going to go to our table of contents tab on the left. I'm going to bring it up and we're going to create a table of contents. Don't be shocked at what you're going to see right now. We're going to just set this thing up nicely. There we go. We'll click on insert. Notice what it's done. We don't want heading one. We only want heading Two. If you have heading one, now look what it does. You don't want all of that. Just want heading two. There it is. Now you'll notice the table of contents tab brings up textiles under table of contents heading two and it assigns these different things to it. There it's got TOC one entry. So you can do that. It's semi-bold. I don't really like it, but actually it might work. 
Now, what we've got to do is to TOC1 entry. Actually, I didn't even need to set up a table of contents entry. But anyway, let's just go and edit this TOC1 entry. And I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put little dots across. Go to edit. That's all selected still. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down to spacing. Let's see our spacing. It's all fine. Tab stops. This is where the magic happens. Let's just drag this away. I don't know why I can't. Oh, yes, there we go. Drag it away. Now you're going to see I'll, we'll get some. Uh, okay, this is a right aligned, a tab stop right aligned. Now we're going to place in here with a header character. There we go. Look at that. It's all done. See? Looks pretty nice. And that's our table of contents. That's not so bad, isn't it? All right? There we go. Just go Command-0. So there's our book. It starts from, from there. Goes down to our table of contents. Down to our chapters. And there you have your book. Each chapter starts on the right hand side with no page number, no running header. The running headers are the names of the chapters, not the chapter number. Down the rabbit hole, there it is on the right hand side, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland on the left. And so it goes on. See, that's how we've done it. But I wanted to say this to you. You've got to set up your Microsoft Word uh, manuscript correctly. You've got to set it up with all the formatting and so forth. Then you come and you modify your formatting inside of uh, Affinity Publisher. You can just modify it a little bit. And there you have a full-on book that's ready for print. Now you might have to go through your manuscript or sorry through this like over here and uh, align these all and, and, and just redo your um, styles here or put some overrides in. Oh, shouldn't have done that. Put some overrides in to override this and to correct it because some of it isn't really nice. There you go. Now what we've done with the baseline grid is that we've lined up all our text across our pages, our pages, and that's it. But you might just have to go in and clean up a little bit, like over there and different little places. We've prevented widows and orphans and all that sort of thing. Anyway, so there you go. So that is how you uh, lay out a book from start to finish with your table of contents. Oh, front matter, sorry, we need to go back here. Pages, we're going to remove, we're going to clear the master to remove that. There we go. We don't want a running header above table of contents. Neither do we want it up here in this part of the book. But everywhere else, from chapter one onwards, we want the running headers there and the page numbers. All right, there you go. Thanks for watching and subscribing. I hope that this three-part series has helped you. If there's anything else you would like to learn about Affinity Publisher, I would be happy to hear from you. Please post your suggestions in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching.